Hi, and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Stephen Kinchelik, and in this video, I'll be going over how to customize your day breaks. The situation that I ran into recently was that I had a schedule where the dates weren't necessarily confirmed yet. And I wanted to talk to one of my departments, but I didn't want the dates in the day breaks of the strip board. So here's how I removed them. Okay, so here I am in my strip board, and like I said, I have a full day break here. I have, you know, the end of shooting day, the date, uh, the... Uh, number of pages and the estimated time and I want it a little bit simpler just so uh, I don't have as much information because like I said you know the dates are going to be fluctuating so I want it to look more a little bit more like uh, let me go to horizontal A here and notice that this just says end of shooting day one so it just has that information um, I want a few more things in there but uh, let me show you how to customize that I'm going to go back to horizontal C because that's the one I'm going to modify so if I go up here to design strip layouts and I select the layout that I want to modify and that was horizontal C I can either double click this or I can click the edit icon and uh, bring up the designer window and here's where I can modify exactly what is appearing in the strips but if I go up to, to this button here which is designer settings and I click that it'll bring up the strip layout settings window and that has a lot of uh, information of how you control the uh, how the strip looks. You can control the width, the height, whether it's horizontal or vertical. But down here, you can control a lot of the uh, banner and daybreak uh, information. Uh, you can control how the text appears, how it's aligned for uh, both the banners, daybreaks, and the area headers. And down here, the daybreak text area, this is where I can edit uh, what text will appear in the day breaks. Um, if I go over here all the way to the left, uh, you'll see it starts with the end of shooting day and then the shooting date and the pages. And like I said, the, I want to get rid of the date because that's the thing that's uh, going to be fluctuating. So I'm just going to delete that by hitting the delete key. And I'm going to leave pages in. For right now, I'm going to get rid of the estimated time also. Now, I can re-add any of this stuff um, by just typing in, like if I want to re-add estimated time, I'd type in dash dash just because I like that to separate them. Estimated time, hit a space, and then we have these buttons down here, which if I click this, it puts in the interpreted text that will fill in the estimated time when it's on the, uh, um, when it's on the strip board. Like I said, I'm going to get rid of that for now. So right now, it's just going to have... Uh, it's just going to say end of shooting day, it'll insert the actual shooting day, and how many pages that is. And that's all the information that I want right now. So I click OK, and I save the layout, save the design. And I'm going to go ahead and close this and close the uh, layout window. And notice it's updated to end of shooting day one and just five pages. Now if I want this uh, left aligned, I could go back into that designer settings window and... Um, uh, do that. Let me show you that really quickly just to remind you where that is. If I go up to design, strip layouts, select the layout that I want to edit. I'm going to double click it this time. Go up to designer settings and here is where I would set the layout of it. So if I select daybreak, select left aligned. I can even change the font if I wanted to. Uh, let me actually do that and make it bold and italic and click OK save the layout, close this window, close the selector, and notice now I have left aligned, italic, and bold uh, daybreaks. So hopefully that will help you customize the daybreaks to communicate the exact information that you want to communicate. Do you have feedback on how we can improve that? Send that feedback to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get updates on when we add new videos. And follow us on Twitter twitter.com slash movie underscore magic and be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all new products and services. Thanks for watching.